Okay guys, today we've got a Smith Krona Galaxy 12. This is the 12 inch carriage rather than the 10 inch? Or wait, 11 inch carriage, I guess. Anyways, you can put a paper this way versus just this way. That's the difference. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to put a typewriter ribbon in. I'm sure you already know this, but get your ribbon, black side up, stick it in first on this end. I figure, I don't know if you can even see any of this. You probably can't. Then you go to the other side, stick it in there, slide it in the little slot. And then this one goes just directly. It's like just a pinch thing. You just get it past the pinch. I believe if I can get it. And then it's in. Do the ribbon reversal. How do you do ribbon reversal on these? It's back here. Huh. Sure enough. So the ribbon reversal is in a weird spot. It's right back here, right behind this spot. Push it. Oh, I think it's got a automatic one if you've got the little what's it called in it. Um, I think it's only on that side. So now it's going to the right. Now it's going to the left. So yeah, it's this little swatch. But I do think it's got an automatic one. Get some of this ink off my hands before I start rocking out. Probably wash my fingers. I'll be all right. So anywho, this typewriter is in great condition. It's got a couple little scuffs. Let's look it over. Uh, looks like tape on the side. I just now noticed that. It's kind of weird. Tape over here too. I have no clue. I like to leave tape on there. So it has tape on here. Not sure why it has tape on there, but uh, I'm just gonna leave that. And you can either keep it. Well, shoot, I'm already tearing it off. I think that might be original to like, I have no clue what that's about. It's got tape on this whole thing. I've never seen that before. Well, I took it off on one side, might leave it on the other. But a little bit of tape for no real reason. What's weird is I think that might be original to the actual, to the actual uh, item itself because I don't see why anyone would ever put tape on there. They probably are like, ah, it looks fine, leave it. Over time though. So anyways, a little bit of tape residue right there. Tape on the other side, maybe I should take it off. I have no clue why they did that. Yeah, and I'll try to get something in there and clean this up better, considering I just now noticed it. Got a little bit of tape there too. But anywho, as a whole, now it looks nasty, but I'll clean that up. Just tape residue. As a whole, this thing is in great condition. Um, I didn't notice any problems with it, but let's figure it out together if there are any. Um, this is the, I don't know if I've already said this, Smith Krona Galaxy 12 model number 6MLC and 171029. Go over some of the stuff. Go ahead and do a type test. Now mind you, the ribbon that I put in this is kind of small, so you'll want to get like another one at some point. It's gonna work for a good long while. You'll just have to constantly do this ribbon reversal because I have these right now and they're just a smaller amount of ribbon on the actual thing. I'm gonna do a type test. On black. That's uh, something else. And now we're going to go cap block. And 
And red does work too, which I've got a red ribbon. One of the more quiet space bars I've ever felt. I couldn't even tell if it was spacing. Very quiet. Um, you've got power, power space here. You've got, I believe this is for like if you get two stuck at the same time. It is, that pushes it down. Those are kind of rare. You don't see those on typewriters too often. Ooh, it likes the, these two. Um, you've got your low, medium, high over here for touch, uh, how, touch sensitivity, margin release. So let's put the margin actually in a place where you can test that. So say you want to keep typing. Margin release, that's where you can keep typing. Works fine. Uh, you've got your tab up here, which I don't think I have any tabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is just a test. Yeah, it works. And to clear them, go over to it, hit clear. So then you've got no tabs. That's how you work tabs. Uh, yeah, everything works flawlessly. You've got your spacing over here. Uh, three spaces, two spaces, one space. To move it to where it's not in a clicky, you push this thing in. It doesn't it's run smooth, doesn't click versus that. Uh, let's see, anything else? Paper bail. This is to move the paper around, paper release. This is whenever you're wanting to put it in the, uh, the case. Hit that up and that centers it. That's where it's supposed to sit. And then it won't, it'll pop out of that whenever you move it out. Let's see if there's anything else. You got your bunny ears, work fine. Margins right here, that and there. And that might be about it. Uh, pretty simple. It's a, there's some tape on the back there too, just to show it off. So somebody just decided this is problem areas. This is where things get beat up. Maybe if I put tape on it, it'll keep it from scratching and they might be the case. Um, yeah, like I said, overall, this would be a good starting off typewriter. It's got good feel. Smith Corona, they last forever. It's pretty snappy. Um, I think it sounds good. Uh, but I still prefer, you know, electric, but other people enjoy these. And yeah, overall, it's pretty good. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, yeah, that's that. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.